Hello. I'm here uh, to talk about the 10th anniversary of, of uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. That was uh, past Sunday, the 29th. Um, I enjoy this game. I enjoyed it when I first played it, and I enjoy it still now. Um, I remember uh, I was sick at home, uh, and then I, so I didn't get to, so I didn't go to school. Obviously, I was getting over being sick. I was saying I stayed home. Like I was sick a weekend. And it was a Tuesday, and uh, I went and got the game because I pre-ordered it, and um, I just spent the whole day playing the game. Um, I have to say, I think of all the Grand Theft Auto games, uh, 4 is my favorite. Um, I love the story. Um, the story, I think, it's the best story, I think, in the whole Grand Theft Auto series. Um, it was... It was really co cool. Um, uh, I enjoyed Nico Bellic, the yeah, obviously the main character you play, as I enjoyed him. As well as the other characters, um, I know some people think Roman's annoying. Um, I didn't mind him all that much. I thought he was a good character in the in that you know we know what he's for. He's he's he basically is the reason his, his, Nico came to America. You know, they're cousins, so he's telling them all about America and how great it is, and you know, just the I think the interactions of that. Uh, uh, Nico has with all these characters in the game really um, uh, is another thing. I mean, obviously, it has to do with the story, but um, I just feel, think the way um, uh, the, he interacts and just the kind of character he is. And, uh, we don't know entirely about a whole lot about his backstory outside of, you know, he grew up in a country where there was like a war. Um, it wasn't a, obviously a good, war, very pleasant war. Um, no, where it, war is pleasant. Um, uh, but so did things he wouldn't have normally done, and uh, war sucks, obviously. And um, he's a very complex character. Um, I mean, when I said we don't really know a whole lot about him, I mean, we do, but we don't. There, are, we know a good amount of information about Nico, and yet there's enough we have we still don't know about. Um, it's 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 he's a very interesting character. Uh, he's also probably my favorite character, uh, along with this being my favorite game in this series. Um, I do love San Andreas as well. Um, I do enjoy Three Vice City and uh, all the other games. Five is good, um, but I just enjoyed what Four had to offer. And ten years ago, playing it for the first time was just amazing to me. Um, in a way, if I could go back in time to just kind of erase my memory and play it for the first time again. I don't know, I might. Um, obviously I can keep playing it as much as I want over and over. I get a new file or whatever and just keep playing it. Um, but there's just something about the first time. Not really knowing what to expect and playing it. And it's just... It's quite a feeling, you know. Um, and that's just... It's a feeling that after... You experience it the first time, you'll never get that back. And um, it's 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 it was quite uh, it was quite a a great uh, it's quite an experience. Um, now I don't. Uh, I'm sure many of you watching this probably. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, who played the game? 
or any of the games in the series, or any game perhaps that becomes so beloved and amazing. Or maybe you think it's amazing, but maybe many people don't really think so. Maybe I think, eh, it's okay. Or some might just not think it's very good, yet there's just something about it you like. And the first time you get it and play it is something that can never be replicated, no matter, uh, like, for me, like, for this game, no matter how many times I uh, replay it, Get a new file, play everything over and over. It's 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 you know. It just doesn't. You can never match it. It's, it happens. Like, you know, it's one of those things that happens once. And then once it happens, it's like. It's, it's done. You can't go back to that. You can just remember and cherish the memories of playing it for the first time and enjoying it. Um, you can even say, like, for like a, maybe like a film, whatever your favorite movie is, the first time you see it, it's like, wow. Uh, and I, I, I really, um, I do enjoy the series, um, I don't know when Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming out, because um, Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online, they seem to be focusing a whole lot on that, honestly, and it's like, I actually have no idea if there's anything new about the information, I'm going to look up real quick. Just a bunch of articles. Rumored sequel. It's likely released on Xbox One and PS4. Probably. Um, I know they're working on Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, Red Dead Redemption is a great uh, game, also. Um, Played that a lot, also, as well. Um, There's a game called Red Dead Revolver, I believe, for PS2. I have an Xbox also. That um, series, that Red Dead Redemption, came, uh, guys, like a spiritual sequel. Uh, I haven't played uh, that game, but the reason I bring up Red Dead Redemption 2 is I think the Rockstar is truly focusing on that game at the moment. Um, and then after that game, we may get more information on Grand Theft Auto 6. Um, I don't know where Grand Theft Auto 6 would take place. Um, be nice to go back to uh, San Andreas, or not San Andreas, we pretty much in a way are back in Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, at least towards the west coast. Um, but, you know, go back to Vice City. Um, 4 we had uh, Liberty City, we got also, two other games after four, which is all in Grand Theft Auto four, uh, the episodes uh, for DLCs, for, and then they came out as actual physical copies, which is what I got. Um, and yeah, one thing that's interesting is no. There was no celebration of any kind or any word for from Rockstar like on their Twitter or something. Usually what they do for these kind of anniversaries, birthdays, whatever you want to call it, like for Grand Theft Auto 3, there was like, hey, happy anniversary, 10th anniversary, and they released a version of like that game for like the iPhone, I believe, like a, a a mobile version of the game. I think they did something similar to Grand Theft Auto Vice City afterwards. And then they, for San Andreas, they had a re-release of the game on PlayStation 3 and um, Xbox 360 in high definition. Um, and many people have thought, wow, they're doing all this stuff for all those games. Those are all beloved. Grand Theft Auto 4 is below, so this will be a huge anniversary as well. You know, some announcement will happen. Uh, 
of some sort, or just something, but no. This past Sunday came and went without Rockstar saying anything. Apparently all they're doing now is just saying go get your uh, uh, shark card to buy all the stuff on GTA Online. Which I actually don't really play a whole lot of, honestly. Um, I've tried. Uh, you know, you have to do a tutorial. Uh, I actually finished the tutorial, yet for some reason it, it won't let me do anything else. Oddly enough, like I can't go and play with any other friends who are also playing as well and can interact and do whatever. It's really weird. I don't know. Why? Why? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's like I did everything required for that game. For the tutorial of GTA Online, but. I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but the point is, it seems like they're too busy focusing on GTA um, Online right now than to uh, say something like uh, about Grand Theft Auto 6 for people who don't know. Any news, or potential news, that we could get on a possible at least release date, like 2020 or 2021. Could be a year or two after Red Dead Redemption 2, which I believe, if I recall correctly, comes out next year. Could come out late this year, but I believe, from what I heard, it was uh, next year. I'm going to check real quick. Oh, it is late this year. Okay. So perhaps next year, 2020, we could get Grand Theft Auto, uh, you know, six. You know, wait a few years and we'll get the next one. Uh, but they have nothing. They didn't even acknowledge the anniversary of Grand Theft Auto Four, which is weird, considering the other hugely popular games in the series got some special mentioned by them, like through their Twitter and whatnot, uh, and they were, like, they did something to uh, celebrate or, or anything of the sort for its 10th anniversary. They did something with these games, and they didn't do anything for this one, and it's just weird. It's like, why not? This was, like, for PS3, this was, like, your, one of the biggest games you had. That Rockstar had. And obviously, Red Dead Redemption was huge as well, and then the DLCs, uh, and then the late, that later uh, disc game like uh, Liberty City episodes, essentially. Um, it was just weird. They didn't do anything special for this. You would have thought because it was like. Probably the biggest game of 2008, I would say. It was huge. You know, it, it just was. And you'd think for a big game like this, for something as big of a deal, it's just they're probably the biggest franchise Rockstar has. They would want to celebrate one of the most popular games in its franchise. But nope, we didn't even get like it. They didn't give it like a happy anniversary or this or that. Um, some really wanted uh, an HD version. Um, I don't know if they will have that. I'm not saying they won't somehow surprise everybody later in the year and have such a uh, uh, a surprise happen um, but if it hasn't been announced already like if it hasn't been announced uh, the 29th which I still have April up but that's okay um, it, it, it's, it's, it's just like wow Come on now, we could we, like why not just 
just give it's just mention this game just remind people 10 years ago this game came out and so many people love it and maybe it'll make people want to play it again I know I've been playing this again so uh, and, and I don't really talk about video games a whole lot on my channel too um, I'm not saying I will but I'm mostly a movie guy obviously but you know I do like games I like playing games um, I did talk about Friday the 13th of the game and like I played it for a week and that was it uh, might go back and try to play that get some more updates and stuff but yeah I enjoy video games um, I think it just depends on what kind of game I, I'm playing and what I want to talk about um, I don't really show footage obviously of all this stuff uh, kinda wanna be different that's fine gotta stand out somehow and all this but uh, yeah um, I'm not sure I'll talk a whole lot more about game games on this channel at least not as frequently as I do movies but you know I could talk more about video games um, I enjoy this game. I think it's great. Uh, I love it. It's my favorite game in the Grand Theft Auto series. Um, I know many people love San Andreas or Vice City or Three or Grand Theft Auto Five, but just I just love Nico. I love the story. I just love everything that's in this game. Um, it's it's very amazing and. Um, I'm sure you've all played this who are watching, but if you haven't, I would recommend you play it if you enjoy good stories and characters and just fun. Because uh, this offers all that. Um, I really, I highly recommend it. Um, yes, it's rated M. There is blood, there's intent violence, partial nudity strong language, strong sexual content, and use of drugs and alcohol are in this game. But many of those uh, were very familiar with the previous games. The only one that wasn't uh, you know, really uh, wasn't around before was uh, partial nudity. Well, then again, that's because some of the levels you have to, or at least one level, you have to go to a strip club and uh, take out somebody. And, uh, and you get to have interactions with people. And you can, like, hang out, which was a new thing for Grand Theft Auto, something you didn't see before. And uh, it was just cool. You get points every time you hang out with or experience points or, well it has, has to do with trophies you know you know if trophies they've got here and now that's what I mean I'm not really experience points but you, you pro, well you do progress also in the game like the percentage goes up um, but yeah I love this game I think it's amazing I could continue talking on and on and on about this but you know essentially it's like I just then be repeating what has already been said and I think I've said all I can say about the game um, again it would have been nice on social media if Rockstar did acknowledge uh, this game it was huge for them. Uh, it was one of the biggest games of 2008. You could possibly even say one of the biggest games of all time. Um, would be nice for them to acknowledge it, but I don't know. I guess with them being focused so much on Red Dead Redemption 2 and then Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, 
I've watched some YouTube channels that talk about Grand Theft Auto and just video games in general. And some might think uh, Rockstar could be possibly selling out by just relying people buying shark cards constantly on GTA Online. Um, not saying that's the case, but it's weird. All they had to do was just say happy anniversary, but hey, uh, they just want to try and get people to get more shark cards. And hey, have at it, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. See you all next time.